uh, the access, the availability and the use of water is under pressure everywhere in the world. So sustainable water management is extremely important. Take for example Lake Naivasha in Akuru County in Kenya, where uh, we are studying who is making use of this lake and uh, what impact it has. Um, there are many different types of people that uh, use the water of the lake. There are, for example, the big export horticulture companies. There are the farming communities living around the lake or fishing in the lake who are using the water for irrigation. And then there are also lots of tourists going to visit Lake Naivasha. So you have also a lot of pressure on the use of the water. Then uh, we see that a lot of uh, municipal wastewater and irrigation return flow goes back into, runs back into the lake. At the same time, climate change impacts are already being felt in the Naivasha region. Uh, we see that there are more rain shortages, there is more rain unpredictability. And given the situation, we have to think of solutions and there are various ways uh, to deal with this situation. So uh, one way is by promoting traditional local vegetables that have proven to be more drought resistant, that need less water inputs. Another way is by um, harvesting rainwater instead of using purely irrigation that requires a lot of water from the lake. And a third option could be better wastewater management techniques. And for this to be effective, we need to have policy responses in different areas. So we are looking at climate change, there is wastewater management, food and agriculture. So it's very important to have transsectoral um, policies to manage the water and uh, for all these different policies to be well aligned and to be coherent.